Hello, how to solve this exponential problem and find all values of t that satisfy this equation? This is t power t, and this equals t power 3. So, let's consider this identity if you have a power b, and this equals a power c. Since the bases are the same, you compare the exponent that is b equals c. Now, applying the same identity here, you have t equals 3. This becomes one of the solutions. But there are other solutions to this. So we can solve this using another method. If you have t power t, and this equals t power 3, I can take natural log of ln of t power t, and this equals ln of t power 3. Now, if you have ln a power b, this equals b times ln a. So the t comes behind the ln, the 3 comes behind the ln. So you have t times ln t equals 3 times ln t. So from here, t times ln t, this is t ln t, equals 3 times ln t, this is 3 ln t. Now at this point, what we can do is to divide each of these by ln t, divide this by ln t, this cancel this, this cancel this, I have t equals 3. Now in this one way of solving this, I can also decide to solve this in a real way. I can easily multiply this out. I can have t times ln t, this is t ln t equals t ta 3 times ln t, this is 3 ln t. I can move this over here, it becomes minus of t ln t minus 3 ln t equals 0. Now, at this particular point in time, of ln t, of ln t, I can factor it out. This divided by ln t, that is t minus, this divided by ln t, that is 3, and this equals 0. So we can equate each of these to 0. I have ln t equals 0. I also have t minus 3 equals 0. Now, if ln t equals 0, we need to solve for t. If 3, t minus 3 equals 0, we need to solve for t. For you to solve this, you simply move this magnetic 3 over here. This is t equals 3. This is our t1. To solve this, we simply make use of e. I have e power ln t, and this equals e power 0. What happens here is that e raised to the prof ln cancel off, you have t equals e power 0. And from here, you have t equals e to the power of 0 is 1. So this is another answer. This is our t2. Now, having solved this, Using this natural log approach, we can as well solve this particular problem again by using a very different approach. If I have t power t equals t power 3, I can divide this by t power 3. I divide this by t power 3. So what happens here is that this divide this, that's 1. I have t power t divided by t power 3 equals 1. So what happens here is that if you have a power n divided by a power n is equals a power n minus n. Applying this identity right here, what you are going to have will be t power, this is t minus 3 equals 1. So from here, I will take the natural log of put part of this equation. I have natural log of t power t minus 3 equals natural log of 1. So from here, if you have natural log of a power b, is equal to b times natural log of a. So the t minus 3 here will come behind this natural log. So what I'm going to have will be t minus 3 times natural log of t equals natural log of 1. 
So from here, you have t minus 3 times natural log of t equals natural log of 1 is 0. So at this particular point, you equate each of these to 0. You have t minus 3 equals 0. You also have natural log of t equals 0. So right now, for you to solve for t, you move this negative 3 over here. You have t equals 3. This is your t1, which is the same t that we had earlier on. Now for this, you take the e, you have e power ln t equals e power 0. And e cancel ln, so you have t equals e power 0. And from here, you have t equals e to the power of 0 is 1. So you have another solution right here. So you have solution here and you have solution here. Now, these are the two solutions that we have gotten so far. I think those are the available solutions that we actually can get. The equation is t power t equals t power 3. And we have gotten two solutions which are t equals 3 and t equals 1. There's no other solution that I think will satisfy this equation. So what we can do next is to test for each of these solutions. Let's start with when t equals 3. I'm going to have 3 to the power of 3 equals 3 to the power of 3. And from here, 3 to the power of 3 is 3 times 3 times 3. That's 3 times 3, 9. 9 times 3. That's 27 equals this. is 27. Left hand side equals right hand side. 3 has satisfied the equation. Now, if you also consider when t equals 1, you are definitely going to have t power t equals t power 3. You insert 1 for t, you have 1 power 1 equals 1 power 3. Now 1 power 1 is 1, equals 1 power 3 is 1. 1 raised to the power of any number will give you 1. So even if you have 1 power 0, you have 1. So left hand side equals right hand side. So this shows that the two solutions have obviously satisfied the equation. So guys, those are the two methods you can actually solve this exponential problem and find the all values of t that satisfies this equation. So that is it. Thank you. I'll see you again.